Everyone has security and insecurity sometimes. Everyone has confidence and fears sometimes. Everyone experiences these things sometimes. So try not to limit yourself. Try not to put yourself into a limiting Really try to cultivate within yourself self-love and inner strength. Love, confidence, strength, encouragement, etc. And then spread that throughout the world. Share that with the world. And don't worry and think that you know that you can't have something or be something or do something. your insecurities will hold you back or that your fears or your doubts will hold you back because they don't have to because you're the one that decides you're the one that decides your reality we are the ones that decide our reality our realities we all live in the same reality but at the same time we live in our individual little realities like you know our minds have their own realities. And that doesn't mean that just because something happens in one reality that it doesn't happen in the other, you know. We all live in, in the same um, base reality, I guess I could say. But at the same time, we all have different perceptions. It's like a song that I remember, like, um, Celtic Thunder cover. in arms um, and you know, he, he says we have just one world but we live in different ones and that's, it's subjective I mean, we could like look at that from so many different ways we live in the same world we live in one world at the same time we all have our intricate individual perceptions and realities and perspectives and that is, you know, that's natural like that happens, that's just what happens in reality <laughs> reality has many different, like realities within it and, you know, we don't have to worry about our feelings or our doubts or our fears um, limiting us or controlling you don't have to worry that that it's you don't have to worry that it's going to take a long time or be a lot of work because you can just stop and all that you have to do is decide and believe right now all that you have to do is decide and you don't even have to believe completely 100% and you can even decide you are the one that decides hey my feelings my fears my doubts they're not going to get in the way of this you feel desperate, if you feel afraid, if you feel longing, that's not bad. That's not going to limit you. That's not going to hold you back. All that you have to do is decide to know, decide to believe. That's all that you have to do. I mean, you could choose to do more at the same time. You can decide to do more. You can decide what works and what doesn't. You can decide because you can decide your reality. You have that power within you and when you realize and know and experience that you can decide that is so empowering and so freeing and it's just it's so miraculous in a sense when impossible things start to happen because you decide and then you just kind of override all that other stuff that's kind of being that we're being told that we have to do first you just decide and in a sense letting go is that helps you to kind of let go and to feel free and surrender not that you absolutely have to do that as a requirement it's not like a trick or something but um 
not necessarily is what I'm trying to say. It's not necessarily a trick to just try to make something happen because sometimes people try to let go to kind of trick something into happening. Not that it doesn't work because again, you are the one that decides. We are the ones that decide. We are the ones that are in control. God is in control. And faith is a combination of belief and decision. Okay, so we have power through faith from God, okay? And we are all connected through the very same life breath that has been breathed into us by God. Okay, so we are so powerful and belief and decision and faith are so powerful. And even if you have moments where you feel so low and so hopeless and so disempowered, I just, just try to remember that, okay? Try to remember that you decide no matter how low you feel, you decide you were in control. And for everyone's benefit, okay, and, and for everyone's benefit, just believe the best for everyone and ignore the situation, the circumstances, the negative things. Sometimes we do have to face negative things that are happening around us or we kind of have to take steps back from them. But what I'm trying to say is sometimes like, don't get so caught up in a situation happening in external reality when you are the one that is in control. All that you have to do is stop and observe it and say, it's going to be okay. It's going to be okay. I decide. I know that it's going to be okay. I decide that it's going to be okay. I decide that it's going to work out. And it will shock you sometimes how amazing it is that it sometimes just when you do that, it's like sometimes it's just immediate. Sometimes it's just, it's so powerful. And I, I mean, don't get so caught up at the same time of it, of like, don't get so caught up in timing either, but recognize that it absolutely can happen immediately. And I just, it's even more powerful when you just kind of, I guess, cut through all the unnecessary beliefs, all these limiting beliefs that are being fed to people about you have to do this, you have to do that. I mean, it is so important to, to you know, work on our own personal growth. And it is so important to just, to make progress and to work on, on our lives and to improve our lives and all of these things and at the same time when you realize and you just you know and you decide and you self-soothe and you self-reassure i'm not saying that you can never listen to another teacher philosopher ever again but you know be be very wary especially with occult ones or ones that are kind of very occult leaning Okay, because, or be wary, you know, sometimes if you're not feeling, if you're not, you know, in a place, I guess, to listen to something, I would say maybe kind of avoid it, but at the same time realize that that doesn't have to hinder you or affect your progress. Just because you hear it again, remember that you decide. So even if you hear something, you can say, no, I don't agree with that or no, that's not true. Basically, just say, no, that's not true. No, I decide that that's not true. Or, no, I don't believe that that's true, you know? <laughs> Basically, not so much, like, just not, not so much just, like, I don't agree with that, but, no, that's not true. Because, or, no, I don't believe that that's true. Or, no, I decide that that's not true. Y you know? <laughs> so, again, just going back to it, deciding. And there was something else that I wanted to. <laughs> I can't remember right now, but just it's it's so important for ourselves to just work on our own personal growth. And right, when you can when you become more used to self-soothing and self-reassuring that is, it's really powerful, it's really helpful, you can, it really helps in managing things like mental health, for example, it, it really helps, 
um, to manage mental health and other things, fears, doubts, anxiety, worry, etc. And the more